My master chef buddy Huda Kabisi is joining me today and we're going to be cooking cabbage rolls. You know they're my favourite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm glad. So cabbage rolls are one of those things that take time. The cabbage needs to cook, but we're going to cut the time in half by using the Cook For Me. Absolutely. I think um, we're both Cook For Me and pressure cooking yeah. fans. Yes. Whatever cuts the time, yeah. I'm so there. Ah, oh, see, I love that style of cooking. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, let's get started. Excellent. So what we want to do is we've cored our cabbage. We've got a whole head of cabbage. Mm -hmm. Caught it and we want to place it straight into our machine. Okay. And yeah. you put the core side up, do you? I mean, you can put the core side up or yeah. down, but like, I'll just put that in yeah. with some water. Yeah. It doesn't really matter because the pressure cooker, once it's it's locked in, it cooks evenly around the whole cabbage. Now Absolutely. you could do this the traditional way. How would you do it the traditional you way? You can, just in a pot of boiling water yep. and add the cabbage, let it submerge in there. So what I'm doing it on here now is mm -hmm. four minutes mm -hmm. on pressure cooking mm -hmm. and immediate start, let that come to pressure. And while that's doing its thing, we can move on to the filling. So what we've got here is about half kilo of lamb mince. Mm -hmm. And this is so easy. It's just really, if you don't mind, throwing in the rice. Sure thing. And you can use basmati rice or yep. jasmine rice mm -hmm. um, for this recipe. It's really up to your discretion and what you love to eat. Nice so one. to that, we want to add some um, Bhara or the Lebanese seven spice. And what's in there? What's typically in a, in a seven spice? Uh, look, typically you've got some ground cumin, some clove, coriander. You've even got a bit of uh, black pepper in there. Yes. But it's, it's, it's like a garam masala. So you yes. know how everyone's got their own mix. Mm. Some people like a bit of extra cumin. Some people like a bit of extra doesn't matter. Make your mix if you want to, or now they're becoming widely available Love in it. supermarkets. Am I putting the whole lot in? Um, you know, we'll add a bit more. Yeah? Okay. Just a little bit more. Say when. You know, because flavour. Done. Yeah. Okay. That's Good. it. <laughs> and then just for added, I like to add a bit of extra black pepper, mm -hmm. just for that little zing. A bit more than that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's good. Okay. Now, it's getting the hands dirty. No so worries. you're just going to have to knead that through all together. I'll do that. Any salt in this or...? I'll add a pinch of salt yep. once we're happy with that. And then, look, we can do that now. OK. We'll get a pinch. And this is a, this is a Huda pinch. Yeah, that's a jazzy like pinch salt. too. <laughs> um, with salt, I like to layer the flavours. We don't want to over salt our filling. Yep. Uh, we just want it to be harmonious. At oh, the end. what a lovely way of saying it. All right, well, I'll keep kneading this. Yeah. We've only got a few more minutes left on the cook for me. And then what happens to the cabbage when we bring it out? We're going to take it out. We're going to peel back the leaves. They should be nice and softened mm -hmm. and very much ready for us to roll. Nice one. In a thimble. These look good. Yes, mm -hmm. they come out uh, like a real charm. Mm. And before we start rolling, we just want to cut off some of the core there. Yep. It snaps a bit. So... It snaps a bit, yeah. So just like that? Yeah, just in just a triangle. Yeah, yeah. Just... It's cooked, but it's not all the way cooked because no. we are going to cook it again. Absolutely. Right? So the idea now is that we want to fill these, roll them, and then we're going to start to layer them into our um, cook for me. It's so super simple. Just mm -hmm. lay a leaf out like that. Yeah. Don't worry if you have leaves that are ripped. I just want to put it out there because it's just going to be rolled anyway. So you don't have to be really dainty with that. Yeah. You want to grab a little bit of filling. I'd say about, because they're cabbage rolls, you, you want about a tablespoon worth. Sure. And what we're going to do is just spread that out in a line. Okay, so now what we want to do is just lift the edge yep. over and then fold the sides in, mm -hmm. keeping that flap out there, and then just roll. Are we doing it quite tight or does it need to be? No, you want it quite tight yeah. because the rice and the meat are going to cook in there. Yeah. Just like dolmades. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So I can continue doing this. while you're doing that, mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you guys what I love to do with this dish. Mm -hmm. I 
throw in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil because, you know... We love oil. We love oil. <laughs> just, maybe just about a tablespoon. Okay. And the reason why I'm not putting too much is because I'm actually going to layer the base of my pot with some chops. So awesome. <laughs> we've got them there and that's got fat already on it and mm. the fat's just going to draw out and it's, it's also going to be flavouring our stock. Yeah. So what I like to do is layer the base of the pot as evenly as possible with the meat and that's going to separate our cabbage rolls from the base of the pot so they don't burn either. And that meat is going to be so melt in your mouth. Yep. Yum. All right, well, let's finish making these cabbage rolls and do some layering. <laughs> So, if you don't mind, Justine, mm -hmm. would you mind giving these garlics just a rough chop? Sure. They don't really need to be finely chopped, okay. but they're going to flavour our stock while I just finish putting those rolls in. Mm -hmm. And if we wanted to make this a vegetarian dish, what would yeah. you uh, substitute for the, for the lamb? Okay, so think of a tabbouleh. Everything in a tabbouleh put that instead of the meat and, and instead of the crushed wheat, the burgle, yep. put the rice. Okay. And you've got yourself oh, I can really imagine. delicious. And that actually comes out to be vegan. So now what we're going to do is build our stock. Sure. And I'm going to go in with some lemon juice, mm -hmm. all of that, some garlic because what's a Middle Eastern dish without garlic? <sighs> Lots of garlic Lots too. of garlic. Got some dried mint as well and that's mm. going to add a nice freshness to yeah. it. Very so, prominent in Middle Eastern cooking, dried absolutely, meat. Absolutely, yes. So I'm going to add some salt now. So we've only added a bit of salt in the filling mm -hmm. and now we're going to add a really, probably a couple of pinches of salt to this. Yeah. Because um, we want to flavour that stock. And then to that, top that with water. So enough to Just to enough cover. to cover them, yeah. Great. A little bit more for good measure, as I say. <laughs> And that's all there is to it. Now we can close our machine. Mm -hmm. We're going to set that now to uh, pressure cook for 20 minutes. Yep. Nice one. And we should have a delicious melt in your mouth meat, beautiful cabbage rolls, flavoursome broth tea. Love the sound of that. Okay, moment of truth. Yep. <laughs> the point where I always have my hand on my heart mm -hmm. and we'll see. <gasps> Yum. That looks really good. <sighs> smells so. so good. The mint. You yes. really smell the mint and the lemon in there. Very nice and fresh. You can imagine um, in a slow cooker or just cooking the traditional way, you'd cook it for two hours, one and a half hours, two hours. So this is taking the slow cooking process and doing it fast in a pressure cooker like this. Very good um, quick meal. I'm just trying to fish out mm -hmm. some of those beautiful chops oh, that yeah. we put at the bottom yeah. into the plate right there. And just have a look at this. See how it just falls apart. Stunning. That looks delicious. It looks so good. We're gonna good. put you a little sample to try. Oh, yes, You can tell please. me what you think. You I'll know. be honest, I promise. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put you a bit of meat as well. Yes, please. And what we like to serve this with mm -hmm. is just a dollop of yogurt. Yum. So, Why not? You know, just in there. That's bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs> I'm going to cut through the little cabbage roll. So soft. And look at that rice. Completely cooked. Cooked? Mm, absolutely. Always winning. Taste. I feel like we're on MasterChef again and I'm the judge. Yeah, right. I know. And I'm sitting there going, oh my God. Delicieux. That is mm -hmm. delicious. I love this. I'm going to need more than one, though. OK. It's all yours, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So good.